As any new job, you, uh, you start at the bottom and you work your way up. You learn the trade. So you start off on a, usually start off on a half a share, then you work your way up to three quarter share, and then when you full share, you should know the job inside out. As a share fisherman, you would be self-employed. You'd get a share of the earnings from the catch on a weekly basis. Usually, uh, there's a boat share taken away for, for expenses, fuel, stores, things like that, and you'd get a share of what's remaining. There are possibilities to earn 25 to 35,000 pounds, obviously, depending on where you are, who you're working for. You've got to take the rough with the smooth. It's, it's very much uh, um, that kind of job. It can go from the, from the best job in the world to the worst job in the world in a matter of minutes. There is good money to be earned at sea. It's, uh, but I've, I've got my family, I've got my own house, my own car. It's a, it's a good job to get comfortable in. I mean, you only work six months of the year, really, so it's, uh, it's very good money for the amount of hours you work. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely worthwhile doing. It's, I'm very comfortable in life. Uh, we could go and earn more money if we wanted to, but we've sort of got a balance of home life and sea life. I mean, the opportunities are endless if you, if you want more money, but comfort's the sort of thing we go for. It's, uh, it's, it's a good life, good money. It's, uh, it's good. And I reckon for jobs in the area, we earn pretty well for, for the commitment you put in. After you become fully, fully qualified and you've done a few years at sea, a bit more commitment, a bit of risk taking, there's no reason why you couldn't be taking a boat. Starting your own business, the, the opportunities are definitely here in the job. It's just putting the time in, learning the trade, getting your head down and getting on with it. I'd like to talk a little bit about the income you can make and the income you can generate when you're a young lad and if you're in my shoes, a young lad with a pregnant girlfriend, to be able to come home from sea after an hard day's graft, I mean, you drag your knuckles off the pier sometimes because you're that so tired. But to come home and say to your girlfriend or your future wife or maybe your wife and say, I've earned a four figure wage this week. We've got nothing to worry about. There's a couple of months mortgage or rent covered. We can get that car fixed. And it's all from earning from a, a you know it's a manual job you don't think it's going to pay the money it is going to pay you don't have to be academic to do this you don't even have to be politically correct you just have to turn up do your job and get on with it and you can earn good money so as a share fisherman you're, you're self-employed so you look after your own tax year on year if you're hard working the opportunities are there to work your way up in this job i mean you go as a decky learner on half share most of the time if you're good, you might go three quarters share straight away. And tiny percentages in this uh, in this job make a big difference with the amount you catch. Uh, so if you go up a percent at a time sort of thing in your wages, it makes a massive difference. And the opportunities are endless. You could get your own boat, sort of half a million pound a year profit sort of thing. If you want to go for that, if you want the life at sea. I mean, there is massive opportunity here in this harbour, with this part, this, catch out there is great if uh, if you've got the get up and go about you it's the way to go um, but the potential to earn well is there as long as you're willing to turn up and and work for it that's that's the key thing you've got to turn up otherwise you don't get paid if you want to know more about working as a brilliant and fisher person with great earning potential you can message our Facebook or Instagram account now or you can always call us on 01262 676 200 or email j.robertson at hfig.org.uk Maybe it's time you've got a new life. Get a life at sea.